What's up YouTube? Welcome to my tool chest. This is actually what I wanted for Christmas either on my 15th or 16th birthday. When I was getting into cars, I wanted a tool chest and a set of Craftsman, you know, just everything, the drivers, the sockets, you know, one of those like 500 piece sets. And that's exactly what I got. I got the Craftsman wrenches, I got deep sockets, shallow sockets, all the extensions. Here's the original Craftsman wrench there, still running strong. Because back when I bought all this stuff, I even have the, the you know quarter inch, half inch, and I even have a three quarter inch somewhere on the, yeah, here you go. I even have three quarter inch as well. Some pretty big things. Um, and so that's what I want to do in this video is share with you some of my tools because I have kind of an addiction to tools and I really sometimes don't even use them. Like this impact right here, I've only used it once since I purchased it. Now I've purchased it within the last year, but uh, I purchased it to remove lug nuts off of cars primarily, but basically I can remove almost anything I'm sure with this thing. It's 450 foot pounds of torque, 7.5 amps. This thing is a beast. It hurts your hand when you press the button. It's like, it it will, yeah, it it's strong. Let's just put it that way. So, first off, I wanna give you guys a quick tour. And then, I wanna share with you my five most used tools. Now, I'm not gonna say anything off the bat, like, you know, a tip measuring tape. That's not gonna be in my top five. We're gonna show you some of those in a moment. I definitely have some obscure, uh, obscure Things as well, like a line level. You can put this on the line and level something. You have things to release stripped bolts. I have pretty much everything you can think of. I even have the things to remove, you know, different um, screws that have been cut. You can drill them out. I have some impact bits here. I have a ton more of drill bits and things like that somewhere else as well. Here are my half inch drivers. I need to, yeah, this is a mess, but typically I have, you know, metric on one side and standard on the other, extensions and then spark plug adapters and things on the le far left. We then have our handheld ones. We have our Allen wrenches. Again, you have some that are standard, some that are uh, metric. And like, I have some weird ones. Like I have this random Allen wrench, okay. Um, and then as far as uh, wrenches go, a couple of additions. So I bought the standard wrench set that everyone gets. However, I'm also mixing in here, this one I got from Craftsman. It has a magnet, which is kind of cool for grabbing stuff, but also it's one of these, you know, adjustable ones. And I have to say, I could live without this. This has not been the best purchase. If you have everything here, I will way rather get the correct size and go with that. Now what I did buy though is the ratcheting style. I have the ratcheting in both standard and metric in the main uh, sizes and amazing, amazing to be able to ratchet uh, something shallow. This will be my go-to over even, uh, you know, going with the actual bit. Next up, I have my screwdrivers mixed up with my three-quarter inch. My three-quarter inch is really important to me because uh, when I work, I used to work on motorcycles a lot. I used to race motorcycles, and so for example, this right here, this is a fun story. So this bit right here, you might be wondering, what the heck does this take off? On a on a Suzuki SV650, there's a special bolt on the frame where you just need four little bits that are, uh, you know. Uh, perpendicular, or what would this be, crossed over each other. Basically, it's like, you know, um, a square, basically. And this takes off a frame bolt in order to get loose in a bolt so you can remove the engine from the frame of the motorcycle. So basically, I, you know, I went to the, the, the um, Kragen at the time, bought one of these cheap bits, and then I used a uh, grinder. That's why it looks so bad. Um, but other things like this 32 millimeter is to get like an axle off. Funnily enough, I actually have some other stuff I'm going to share with you in a different video of some very specialized tools. But again, with that original Craftsman set, this is the original one from when I was 16 years old, Craftsman here. So, pretty cool to still have all that stuff. And then a lot of this is like cheap stuff. A lot of my precision screwdrivers are over on my workbench. It's got a couple hole punches, um, tweezers, and you know, things to get into smartphones. Um, I also have a bunch of mini tool sets for when I do electronics. You guys have seen me do videos on that in the past. All right, 
pliers and things. So these vice grips, I love them. They're really great. They're usually my go-to, but then I have some pretty standard ones as well. Garden shears, I don't even know why they're in here. I actually need to get rid of those. And then I have a bunch of stuff because uh, you know my wife used to make jewelry, so this is all the stuff you would like bend gold and silver with. Um, and then you have metal, you know, this will cut through metal, things like that. This was probably my newest um, tool that I've recently added, which is a nice wire stripper. And then I find myself using my wire cutter, crimper quite a bit as well. Good set of needle nose pliers is always really nice. A couple other things there. All right, hammers, strap wrenches for changing oil on cars. Never use the saw. I very frequently ever use a pipe wrench, but I have it just in case. This um, this screwdriver set is actually really nice because it has star keys as well as the SAE and millimeter, so standard and metric, and it goes reverse or forward. It's a little cheap, but it gets the job done. Bunch of hammers, rubber mallet is always nice to have. This is something I just bought at a garage sale, actually. It's just, it's, um, you know, it's to pry, it's a little pry bar. Speaking of pry bars, I also bought this like pack of pry bars here. And then I also have pry bars for like, you know, to tires and stuff like that as well. In case you need to pry something open. All right, and then the last drawer, I keep my Dremel in here. But a couple other really cool things in here are my two um, wrenches. So the old standard one, this one's really cool. When you have something here and you push up against it, it will move the bar, this bar either up or down, depending on the torque. And uh, pretty cool, right? And then I also have this one where you can set the torque and then actually, you know, use it.